Hey everyone and welcome, it's Regigam here for another Black Ops 4 video. Today we're doing a frequency map guide. Now this is one of the maps in the beta and we're looking at all the tips and tricks to give to you guys about the map, best spots to use and a couple of secret hidden pathways which you may not have noticed, you probably wouldn't have done. So I'll show you those today and make sure you go stay till the end to check those out because they're quite useful uh, in games. Now if you guys do enjoy feel free to leave a like, it really helps. And make sure you go and check out the other Black Ops 4 beta videos. I'll have a playlist for that in the description and a card on screen as well. But anyway, let's get into it. So first things first, we're going to start on this side of the map in this spawn. And you'll see here the cylinders are a good cover if anyone comes into your spawn area. And it's a good way to hide and get kills, that kind of thing. Uh, the map itself looks quite beautiful. As you can see, I was going to quickly show you around the edge of the map. It looks quite cool and uh, it's definitely a weird and unusual setting. Anyway, so if you come uh, away from the spawn a bit and you come, you obviously got that cornered wall there which is good for cover and you'll have lots of sets of crates here which obviously provide good cover as well. Now, if you decide to go right, because obviously you've got left, middle or right, if you decide to go right, that box quite there is really good for uh, using as cover because there's enemies often on the other side, either on objectives and stuff like that. If you come further ahead, you see that gap there, make sure you watch out for that because obviously you can fall through map fatalities there there's one on either side so make sure you watch out for that and that's the central portion of the map if you come around and jump up onto the little balcony you'll come through into the window you'll see out the window that is a very good spot there's often someone in the other window so that potentially i haven't tested it yet but i'd imagine that'd be good for things like long shots and sniping that kind of thing and um, if you decide to jump out the window you can come through here and this brings you to the central spot again that has stuff like flags on it it has a uh, the control point in the, in the game of control and obviously you can shoot out again there'll be people behind those boxes like I was saying before but on the other side from the spawn so lots of enemies will funnel through there that little tunnel so watch out for that um, if you don't decide to jump out the window and you stay in that little area you can run down the stairs and this brings you into the room just just in front of spawn okay so in here obviously that table there is good for cover if someone comes through but obviously if you run through that room it brings you into the like main area of the map and even though it's the main main area not many people are actually there now if you look down there the balcony bit sort of overhangs a floor below and that is really really good for points look at that you're right on top of it flag b is there in domination so it's really good for taking out people if they're trying to get objectives and stuff now if you come through you can jump up into the window which is a good way to get through if you need to maybe you hadn't thought of that uh, there's a balcony there on the other side it's pretty much the same so i won't really talk about it yet but um if you go back to the spawn that cover there is really good obviously for calling in streaks and healing that kind of thing but if you come through you decide to take left so we've done right middle now we're doing left you can come around, watch this, so you can come around, jump onto the rock, look at that. It's a good place for hiding, it is a good place for running around enemies to try and get to an objective, or if you're coming from the other spawn, you're running up into their spawn, all you have to do is jump onto that little rock and come up, and it's a good way if you're playing, I don't know, Search and Destroy or something like that. Lots of modes it'll be good with, obviously I haven't seen all the modes because it's the beta at the moment, but... You see what I mean? It's a really good way to get round and flank without people noticing you. And I, no one really notices that route. I haven't seen anyone use it at all. So that's good. Now this brings you to the main portion of the map, but in, on the left. And I like this because, well, there's a flag here normally, so it's quite good. But if you run underneath, it will give you a little tunnel. And if you go in there, it's a room that's underneath the map and uh, there's a ladder on either side so you can you know pop your head up i wouldn't do that too much because there's lots of enemies around so it is a bit dangerous but you gotta be careful but it is good for if you need to shoot people throw grenades out that kind of thing it's just good for helping to control the map without actually being up there and it's also good you can also hide like and not exactly camp but you can hide in the corner control the people coming down from ladders you know because the um point just ahead of me there is where there's like the control or b flag that kind of thing so it's good for controlling it and stop people get pie. Now you see there, I climbed up, so that's a good thing. You can climb from that lower floor onto the pipe and up onto that top floor. So that's a good little way to get around without having to run around. So, you know, just bear that in mind. Like I say, you can throw grenades up and stuff like that. Now, if you come around further again, obviously this can be used as cover, but if you come to the right, that is one way to check if people are there coming from spawn, the enemies I mean, or you can come around to the left. Now, here's another one of those secret little areas. So, first off, obviously if anyone's coming from spawn you can hide there and wait till they run past because they won't really see you. but this is a secret part here you see this right so you can shoot them there or instead of running around down the stairs and around you can jump onto this pipe here and over across like that so we can do it again on the other side there whoop, there we go back again you see so it's good for sneaking around or trying to get into the enemy uh, spawn now this one isn't quite a secretive i don't think anyone would really know about it unless you actually watched a video on it or something so um, and you can come into the enemy spawn here as well so that brings us on to the 
the other side of the spawn because we've done most of the map all we need to talk about now is the other side of the map so this obviously it looks quite beautiful and whatnot but obviously aside from that you guys don't really want to know about that but what you do want to know about is uh, obviously this spawn can be used as cover you see this thing here it's got a gap in the middle but it's very good so we've kind of done the right and the middle is the same as the other side so I won't really cover it but the left again we've got this tunnel so make sure you use those boxes as cover now obviously people will try and come down there so you gotta be careful but this is an important route here because this is where a lot of flags will be as well so just make sure you're aware of that and that's a good point for holding objectives that kind of thing uh, if you were to run around obviously you could jump up onto the balcony the other side but it's the same as the other side of the map so i hope you guys found it useful if you did feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more black ops 4 videos and you can always check out my black ops 4 beta playlist in the description that have all the map guides and different videos like that so hope you guys found it useful and i'll see you guys on the next one